Okay, so let's see if you have the math skills to solve this simple math word problem, which is the following. It takes 1.75 hours to fill a fuel tank. What part of the tank is full after one hour? All right, so this is the problem, but uh, we do have a multiple choice question here, and our answers are the following. So A is 4 sevenths, B is 3 fourths, C is 57%, and D is 65%. All right, so feel free to use a calculator, but uh, if you have an answer, go ahead and put that into the comment section. I'll show you the correct answer in just one second. Then, of course, I'm going to solve this problem step by step. All right, now before I show you the answer, let's go ahead and take another quick look at the problem. It takes 1.75 hours to fill a fuel tank. What part of the tank is full after one hour? All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at the answer. The correct answer is actually two. So A is correct, and so is C. So A is uh, four sevenths, and C is 57%, or approximately 57%. Okay, so if you got A or C, well, that is fantastic, and it indicates to me that you got this right which means that you get a happy face and an A+. Plus. And if you're like uh, Mr. YouTube Math Man, I'm a bit confused on how to solve this problem. Can you help me out? Well, I definitely can. So the first step to solve any math problem is to make sure you actually understand the question. And a good way of doing that is to read a problem at least three times. Make sure you understand all the information and the actual specific question being asked. All right, now I've already read this problem a few times, but uh, let's take one more look. So it takes 1.75 hours to fill a fuel tank. Now we need to make a simple assumption here, and that is we have some sort of pump that's pumping fuel into this tank. And this assumption is, is that this pump is pumping at one constant rate. Okay, in other words, this pump is not pumping fuel real fast and then real slow and then fast or slow again. It's just pumping at one constant rate. Okay, so now we have this pump or some sort of a other device that's putting fuel into this tank. So the question is, what part of this tank is going to be full after one hour? So in other words, we have our pump here uh, working and uh, it's putting fuel into this tank. Now, of course, this pump, it's going to take 1.75 hours to come up with one complete tank. So the question is, what part of this tank is going to be full after one hour? Okay, so when you're looking at a problem like this, it's uh, really good to try to visualize or model the information. And we can do this by just coming up with a simple sketch, maybe something like this. Okay, so this tank, it takes 1.75 hours to fill up uh, this tank 100%. Okay, so this is one full tank. Now let's suppose we wanna figure out how long it's going to take to get a half a tank of fuel. Now remember our assumption is that our pump is pumping at one constant rate. So how long is it going to take to get a half a tank? Well, that's pretty easy to figure out. So if it takes 1.75 hours to get one full tank or 100% uh, full, so all we need to do is divide this by two. That's going to be 0.875 hours, and that's how long it's uh, how long it takes to get a half a tank of fuel, or to have the tank uh, filled up at 50%. So just kind of think about this for a second. So it's going to take less than an hour, 0.875 of an hour, to get a half a tank, or a tank at 50%. So kind of going up here to our multiple choice question. Uh, if you think about it, right, how long is it going to take or what part of the tank is going to be full after one hour? Well, if we know that it's going to take 0.875 of an hour or so to get a tank that's 50% uh, full, we would expect this tank to be more than 50% uh, full after one hour. So if we kind of look at these uh, options here, just in case you have to take a wild guess, all of these answers are somewhat reasonable, okay? In other words, they're all more than 50%. But uh, I bring this up because if you don't know how to answer a math question, especially a multiple choice question, never feel uh, shy about taking a guess, but you wanna to try to take some sort of uh, you know, educated or reasonable guess. 
Okay, so we would expect that more than 50% of this tank is going to be full after one hour. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into the actual math to solve this problem. Okay, so the real key to solve this problem is to compare tank level to time. In other words, uh, we get one full tank every 1.75 hours. So this is the rate or the speed this particular pump is filling up this tank. Now this word rate or rate of change has a very specific meaning in mathematics. So a rate is a fraction where the numerator is measuring something completely different than the denominator. So this is not to be confused with a ratio. So somebody might be saying, hey, Mr. Two Math Man, I think these things are a ratio. Well, again, a ratio and a rate are very similar, but a ratio is where uh, you're comparing two things by a fraction and you're measuring basically the same concept or the same units in the numerator as you are in the denominator. But here, we're measuring tank level uh, to time. They have nothing to do with one another. So this is the rate of change or the speed that we are filling up this tank. Now this speed is the same speed that we want to figure out uh, this tank level after one hour. So these two uh, things here are in proportion. Okay, so what is the tank level after one hour? Well, this uh, uh, rate of change is the same rate of change as one full tank over 1.75 hours. So these two things are in proportion and now we can kind of talk about an actual proportion in mathematics. Okay, so what is a proportion? Well, a proportion is two equal fractions or two equal rates or ratios, which are, of course, fractions. But uh, what we have here are two equal rates. So we get one full tank every 1.75 hours. So what part of this tank are we going to get after one hour? All right, so these things here will be in proportion. Okay, so how do we solve a proportion? Well, again, by definition, a proportion, a proportion, excuse me, is uh, two equal fractions. So let's take, a, take, uh, let's take this simple example here. So we have one half, and of course, uh, we have another fraction here that's equal to one half, and that is five tenths. All right, so when you have a proportion, one great thing that you can uh, think about is something called the cross product. Okay, so the cross product is always true when you have a proportion. In other words, if we cross multiply two times five, that is 10, and that is equal to this cross product, one times 10, of course, is 10. Okay, so when you have a proportion, the cross products are equal, and we want to use that fact to solve this uh, proportion right here for x. Okay, so now that we understand what a proportion is, all we have to do is uh, set up some simple algebra here to solve for x. Okay, so we're going to take this x and multiply by 1.75, and then we're going to take this one and multiply by this one, and again, we're trying to solve for the variable x, so this is what uh, the setup is going to be. Now, notice here I changed uh, this 1.75 to the fraction 3 fourths because 0.75 is equal to the fraction 3 fourths. And I think this is uh, just kind of a good review uh, to kind of work with decimals and fractions. But uh, if you have your calculator out there, you can uh, work with decimals, but that's perfectly fine. Okay, so here is what we need to do. We need to solve for x. So we have one over 1.75 or one and 3 fourths is equal to x over one. Now, before we continue on, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. This really does help my channel grow on YouTube. My goal is to help as many people as possible in mathematics. And specifically, I'm trying to teach math in a clear and understandable and interesting way. Also, make sure to hit that bell notification as well so you can get my latest videos. All right, so all we have to do now is solve this proportion for x. And this is not going to be difficult because we're going to use the cross product. Okay, so x times 1 and 3 fourths is going to be equal to 1 times 1. Now, uh, let's assume that we don't have a calculator and we need to do this basic algebra. So we're going to have x times 1 and 3 fourths. So that's 1 and 3 fourths times x. And of course, 1 times 1 is 1. All right, so uh, let's solve this basic equation for x. 
So the first thing that we want to do is change this mixed number fraction into an improper fraction. So the way we do that is take this 4, multiply by 1. So 4 times 1 is 4, plus 3 is 7. So now we have 7 over 4. X is equal to 1. Okay, so how do we solve for X? Well, the easiest way to solve this type of equation for X is to take the fraction 7 over 4 and flip it upside down and multiply both sides by the reciprocal of this fraction. You see, what you're trying to do is figure out how to get a 1x or x by itself. Now, if we multiply any fraction by its reciprocal, you're going to get 1. So 4 times 7 is what? Well, that's 28. And then 7 times 4, of course, is 28. Uh, 28 divided by 28 is 1 or 1x. Okay, so the golden rule in algebra is whatever you do to one side of an equation, you have to do the exact same thing on the other side. So here we have 1 times 4 over 7, which, of course, is 4 over 7, and that is our solution. Okay, so the correct answer here, again, is uh, 4 sevenths. Now, this is one uh, way to express the answer, but uh, maybe some of you want to work in terms of percentage. So let's kind of use this uh, same concept of a proportion. So instead of one full tank, let's kind of think of it as 100% of the tank being filled up every 1.75 hours. So what percent of the tank will be filled up in one hour? So here again, we have a proportion and we can use the cross product to solve. But uh, in this uh, uh, particular proportion, X is going to be a percent, okay, not the part, not a fractional part of the tank. Okay, so X times 1.75 is going to be 1.75 times X, and then of course 100% times 1 is going to be 100 times 1. All right, now keep in mind that uh, when we solve this variable for X, it's going to be in a percent. Okay, so here you may want to use your calculator, but uh, 100 times 1, of course, is 100. Uh, and that's going to be equal to 1.75 times x. So to solve for x, all we have to do is divide both, uh, both sides of the equation by 1.75. So x will be equal to 100 divided by 1.75, which is approximately 57%. Okay, so these, type of, um, uh, these types of uh, problems in mathematics, ratios, proportions, rates, these are very common type of uh, word problems, you got to be really comfortable, you know, with these concepts. And the best way to learn how to uh, really solve these is to understand the underlying concept. In other words, what is a rate? What is a ratio? What is a, a what is a proportion? And how do you solve a proportion, i.e. how do you uh, do the basic algebra when you are applying the cross product to a proportion? Okay, so again, the only way to get better at uh, this stuff is to practice, practice, practice. So if you have any trouble, you know, with this video, just kind of go back and identify what you don't understand and kind of work on it from there. Okay, so I hope this video helped you out. And if that's the case, don't forget to like and subscribe. Now, if you need additional help in algebra, check out these courses right here. So pre-algebra is uh, for those of you that are studying basic algebra. But uh, if you are further along in mathematics, then you may want to check out my Algebra 1 or Algebra 2 courses. Now, my Math Skills Rebuilder course is a review course. I cover basic math, algebra, and geometry in this course. I'm going to leave links to all these courses in the description of this video. All right, so with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time, and have a great day.